welcome to season four, first episode of our Dream Garage build. I linked down below the previous builds that we've done in the garage um, that um, have started the Dream Garage build for us. Um, and then in this episode, we're actually going to be changing more of the walls to create um, kind of an old garage, kind of like a downtown garage kind of feel uh, with exposed brick and things like that. Um, and then also maybe even a little bit of entertainment for the garage as well because you know it can start to get pretty quiet in here and my phone is not that big. So uh, so let's let's review that. So first we put new cabinets in. Our cabinets are free. They were free for us. They came from a restaurant that was uh, getting rid of them. So um, that, that kind of started this whole thing. But if you look at it down here, it's actually kind of an old barnwood look. And uh, that's what we wanted is something a little bit more rustic. I'm not really a shiny fence, shiny wall kind of a guy. I'm, a, I'm kind of an older cars, older kind of classic vibe. And, and that's what these have. They've got metal um, and, and screws on the outside to make it look like an old, uh, an old kind of thrown together piece, even though it's a modern cabinet. Uh, lots, of, lots of storage underneath where I have all of my stuff. Uh, and it goes all the way from this side all the way around. Uh, this was going to be the center of our garage, um, and and we've loved it so far. Metal countertops, don't have to worry about get paint, get on my stuff like that. I can actually just go through and clean them. So that was project number one. Project number two in our dream garage was that we wanted to kind of fix the walls because our walls are are just uh, our house was built in the 80s, and the drywall is old drywall with drywall compound that's cracking off and and things like that. So. Uh, I didn't really want to go and prep the walls again and spent all the time sanding them down and stuff. So I thought, well, I'll just take pallet wood and I'll build a pallet wood wall to kind of match the wood that's on here and then put some of the elements of my personal life in here too to make me feel comfortable. Um, that's where you see the skis. Uh, we'll go through. I am a ski guy through and through. I grew up skiing and um, that's one of my biggest passions in my life. So uh, I've got 300 plus pairs of skis and I thought I'd just use them in my uh, in my architecture of the house, um, get some out of the, you know, get some out of the spaces that I'm storing them in, uh, and I think these are all works of art. So I implemented them in there. If you do something like that to your garage, you could do some element that you think is great, you know, motorcycle parts or whatever. And then in between there, I've got kids, the pictures of the kids, kids art projects, stickers that I've collected, you know, beers that I like, that kind of thing, all the way around here. Uh, and we're going to continue this around this side on this wall uh, but we're going to throw some more elements in there uh, for instance if you look right over here at the front grill and the dash and everything from the bronco to be named later that are just sitting in a corner to me just like the skis those are works of art um, and i want to display those so i'm going to display those on the wall right underneath my ford and jeep uh, symbols up there plus other signs we may even put some neon signs in here who knows um, but to get those things up off the floor and, and, and actually create artwork with them before we use them. Uh, I think that would be a fun thing to do. Um, and, and so this corner is going to be down the road a little bit, but let's flip around to this corner. This is the area of opportunity now and what we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, this is bothering me. I was going to do pallet wood all the way around, um, but I want to break it up a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting than the same thing repeated over and over again. Um, I was telling you I wanted like an old garage, like in the 30s, 40s, you know, uh, old exposed brick and, and things like that. And so what we're going to do actually is uh, clean all of this up and take all of this out over here. Um, we've already cleaned off all of our old shelves up here on this side. Um, we're going to store everything either in cabinets or we're going to hang it in a place where we can use it more appropriately instead of just hanging things on the wall. Um, like this over here. This whole wall is just filled with junk, so we're going to take all of this down. And then over in this section right here, this whole wall is going to be exposed brick or faux exposed brick uh, because we found some pretty cool stuff on Amazon uh, that is going to make this thing look like an old garage. Uh, at least that's our, that's our goal and that's our hope because it's got to be a lot of work to get this done and if it doesn't look right, then I'm going to have to pallet wood over the top of it. So um, we're going to give it a shot. So let me show you what we bought. All right. So this is what we bought. What it is, is it is brick wallpaper, but it's got a 3D texture to it. So if you, you know, scratch on it, it feels like exposed brick. So 
you know, it's just going to cost too much and be too heavy to put actual real brick veneer on this. So we thought we'd throw this up. I mean, it's a garage, right? It's better than, better than uh, you know, even though I love my daughter's drawing of a truck back a few years ago when she was really little, um, having exposed brick on this wall is going to look amazing with this old pallet wood. And then we're going to put basically artwork up here. What I mean by artwork is we're going to take elements from our trucks and our cars and our motorcycles and also man crafts. I'm going to call them man crafts. Maybe they're, maybe man craft is not the right word. But taking old elements and creating new elements within them using lighting and things like that, I think that would be fun as well. And then the lighting, we're going to change up a little bit. And even though we've used the Amazon, or the lights that we got from Amazon, not that light, but these lights up here that we got from Amazon, we've got a bunch more of those uh, that we are going to um, put around the, the garage to create a better lighting for our projects. We're going to put more accent lighting on these walls uh, to create a little bit more of a cool environment so that when we hang out in the garage, it'll be like hanging out in a really cool, uh, uh, you know, bar space or something like that. So maybe drop lights, the old Edison lights, things like that. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm getting really excited. So we're going to start with this brick wall today and we're going to be putting some brick wall up and you're going to see the process and also the before and after, so let's get started. We're just gonna start this thing by getting it cleaned off, getting shelved off uh, in a quick time lapse, and then we're gonna start laying some wallpaper. The last thing on this wall is to get rid of this pegboard, because I hate pegboard, I hate pegboard. Oh, that was so satisfying. Try it again. <laughs> Remember, if it doesn't work the first time, change it. Okay, let's it faster. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> and one of the few elements that's going to stay. The brick wallpaper that I'm using is a 3D texture wallpaper. It doesn't have light and dark bricks, which is something I saw a lot of them had light and dark bricks. Uh, the problem is the light brick and dark brick have a pattern on them. And when you put, when you lay it out and you look at it on a huge wall, you can see the pattern repeating across the wall. So I wanted something that was similarly colored, even though there are, uh, you know, masonry marks and stuff like that on it that might repeat. I think it looks a little bit more natural. At least I, my perception is it'll look a little bit more natural. So anyway, this was $26 for a roll on Amazon, free shipping. I'll put the link down in the description. It'll do 56 square feet ish 50 ish six 56 ish square feet um, so the roll is like 300 inches long and it's 20 inches wide so it's going to take seven rolls to do the walls on this side and the walls all the way to the end of the garage over here but all of this cost me basically less than 200 dollars for all of this uh, wallpaper and then $20 each for a gallon of wallpaper glue, which also down in the description. And then a uh, trowel to put on the glue and a smoother for the wallpaper. And the nice thing about this wallpaper is even if I get bubbles in it, it's not going to be a big deal because it's supposed to be three dimensional. Uh, so I'm not really going to worry about it too much, but I also have an X-Acto knife if I need to pop any large holes or anything like that. So I have never hung wallpaper in my life. Let's get started. Just for a second, since we have one wall done, I just can't wait. I got a special surprise for us uh, from Amazon, and, um, and it's exciting, so I'm gonna grab it. Haha! <laughs> 50 inch plasma screen! Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Let's throw this thing up. And one of those flexi mounts so that we can turn the TV. In this direction, over where the Broncos are, so we can see everything. You okay? Whoa! Chris, that's not funny. You don't pull that out of my hand. Stop that. <laughs> well. Perfect. Maybe this is where it might be. All right, watching uh, Super Celebration. Selling shirts. 
And then I've got- John, your head is huge. <laughs> so at this point, I just want it finished. So um, we're just gonna save all the labor and we're gonna snap it in. Here we go. Oh, there we go. That was way easier. All right, so we got the brick done now. I think the brick looks great. Let's take a look at it real quick. Of course, the garage is a disaster now. So we did all the way up to this section right here. So the wall for the house starts there. So this is insulated. Uh, and when they built the house, they just basically stopped the drywall there. This has a little bit of insulation, but, but not fully insulated. Also not drywalled. We are gonna insulate it and drywall it, um, but we're just not gonna do it right now. So the rest of it though, looks pretty darn good. And then now we just gotta get the rest of the disaster of the garage back in place. <laughs> imagine so I'm happy with that uh, we have spent a little bit of time in the garage since then and uh, it's it's awesome we we love it uh, it was worth the couple of days that it took us to do this and uh, we really we sold off all the stuff that was on the walls we pretty much sold all of it put it on Facebook marketplace and sold it coming up on the garage build we still have to finish the front walls we still have to epoxy the floors and we're even looking for a two post lift to put in the center bay here so um, there's going to be a lot of Dream Garage episodes. Uh, I don't know if they're all going to be in this season or not uh, because we won't epoxy the floors until the spring. Uh, but uh, it's good to be awesome. Now next project, tearing down the 5.0 1998 Ford Explorer engine to see if it's any good. That is a wrap for Mile Point 3 Garage. Welcome to my Dream Garage.